Tesla had a strong end to 2021 with beats on both the top and bottom line, but the market was really paying attention to supply chain issues. Executives said that production volumes at the plant in Fremont, California and in Shanghai had been depressed for several quarters due to the ongoing supply chain crunch. That includes, of course, a shortage of semiconductors. And that meant one big thing. This year, 2022, Tesla will not be launching any new products. That means no Cybertruck, no semi-truck. And the logic that Elon Musk put behind that was that if they don't have the parts to build or ramp up production of their existing products, then they shouldn't move quickly onto new products. They also talked about basically inflation headwinds. headwinds. They're seeing rising inflation, rising commodities costs, which could weigh on margins in the near term. That was kind of the old school company stuff. Then we get to the Elon Musk stuff. His big bold statement is that Tesla, in his opinion, would achieve full self-driving this year, 2022. And he said that the biggest product that the company was working on this year was not necessarily an electric vehicle, not necessarily a battery or energy storage product. It was the Tesla robot project. And he talked about the labor shortages in the economy and that in the near term, when they build up that Tesla robot program, the robots might, for example, move parts within Tesla's factories. But longer term, he talked about erasing labor shortages altogether. There were some other interesting items. They're making progress in Austin, for example. They're very much still in the tooling phase in both Austin and Berlin, but they do expect to start deliveries of the Model Y SUV from Austin this quarter, and it will have the new generation of 46 80 cells. There's this outlook question now with Tesla as they ramp up production in both Austin and Berlin. New factories coming online with depressed volumes in Shanghai and Fremont. What that means for profitability and the mix of products going forward. Ed Ludlow, Bloomberg News, San Francisco.